working families unable to afford food. All new this morning, our Jamie Warren is looking into the data that may show why so many in our state are turning to places like food banks for help despite having full time jobs. Due to the pandemic, uh, the work was so, so, so slow. Annabelle tells me her husband is now working full time, making $15.50 an hour. That's above the state's minimum wage. But the couple and their three young kids live in a one bedroom apartment. And as they catch up on bills, it's not enough to keep food on the table, which is why twice a month she comes to Nourish Phoenix, a food and clothing bank. So I can buy on other things I can spend on my kids. Executive director Beth Fiorenza says Annabelle's story isn't unique. We see a lot of families who are working. That doesn't mean that you're spending your money on extravagant things. It just doesn't go far enough. Dr. Tamara Zivik says wages are not keeping up with the cost of living. She references 2019 data by the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, which finds in Maricopa County, a single adult with two kids would need to make $35 an hour to have what's considered a living wage. That accounts for things like food and child care. 33 an hour if there are two adults and one stays home to take care of the kids. And 19 an hour for two working adults. Another issue is just the rising cost of rents. Those continue to go up. Utilities as well. The cost of food also up 3.5% in just the last year. But the issue of raising the minimum wage, she says, is a difficult balancing act. You also don't want your small businesses not to be able to make it. But on the other hand, again, if you are actually out there working, we don't want somebody to be working two and three jobs to be able to make that $35 an hour, then your childcare costs go up. As for Annabelle, she also just got a job and says the hope is that one day her family can give back to the place that helped them during their toughest times. They know how in need we are in this time more than ever. So to give you a visual representation of just how many people out there may have similar stories as Annabelle, this is a live look right now outside of St. Mary's Food Bank. And you could see a line just like this one five days a week. So a few things that Dr. Zivik says her organization is looking into is first more training for higher paying jobs and also the cutoff for SNAP benefits because oftentimes they start making just enough money to no longer qualify, but they still fall behind on bills and it can be difficult to save. Reporting live in Phoenix, I'm Jamie Warren, ABC 15, Arizona. Thank you, Jamie, for that live report. Happy